It's Ash from Super Videos, back for another one. Another reaction to an episode of Breaking Bad. This is my reaction to season 3, episode 12, which is called Half Measures. This is the lead up to the season 3 finale, so I'm sure that a lot of crazy stuff is going to go down, which is going to set up the finale. Now, let's talk a little bit about the last episode. There was two big scenes in the last episode that I think set up not only the rest of this season, but probably the rest of the series. Now, one of those was related to Skylar. Of course, now Skylar is part of the operations. She is partnering up with Walt in a way, just like Jesse was. So it's going to be interesting to see the two of them together in this operation, in this new operation. And it's going to be interesting to see how far Skylar is willing to go with this whole thing. And it's going to be interesting to see whether things are going to get a little more tricky as far as keeping it a secret. And I think it's just going to be about time before Hank and Marie figure out that they're not up to anything good and that they have something up their sleeve. So that's going to be super exciting to see. Now this, I think, is something that's going to be more long term. I don't think that they set this up just for it to be resolved by the end of the season which is season three. I think this is more long-term for the series. The other thing that they set up in the last episode, I think has a more short-term resolution. And that has to do with Jesse and what he found out at the end of last episode, finding out the people that were responsible for his friend's death. So it's going to be super interesting to see how far he's willing to go in seeking revenge. And whether he's actually going to go through with it or not. We know that he's thinking about it, but whether he's going to go through with it or not is a different story. And also, it's going to be super interesting to see what Walt is going to do. If he finds out that this is what's going on, is he going to back Jesse up? How far is he willing to go to back Jesse up? So as I said, a lot of great stuff were set up in the last episode. So it's going to be super exciting to see how they're all going to be resolved. But... I talk too much, let's just dive right into this reaction. Oh, these are the same guys that put a hit on Combo. She knows them? Wow, are they selling Walt and Jesse's meth to her? <laughs> She's actually researching it. There's no better way to have them be suspicious than to find you searching up money laundering in your browsing history. That's how you get caught. Any thought anymore about what we discussed? Thought anymore meaning reconsidered? No. So show me the plural. Uh, flaws, Skylar. Flaws, plural. You took the seed money you won gambling you invested it in the car wash that you helped run for four years. You hired your wife as a bookkeeper because guess what? She's actually a bookkeeper. Yeah, makes sense to me. I don't know what the flaws are. So what am I missing? You want a believable story. That, it seems to me, is the safest way to make the best out of a very bad yeah. situation. Yeah, extremely bad situation. But I'm noting a little hole in your plot. Which is? Why would your estranged husband be doing all this for you? Oh. I'm just not buying it. You know, I, I think it would be better if the husband were no longer estranged. He estranged, yeah. Maybe if... Oh, that's what Wendy it's Alice, right? bought from them. Where did you get that? Did you take it from the lab? I bought it from the two guys who killed Colin. Product. They're selling. Yep. Do you have any proof? I heard it from the sister of the kid who shot him. The kid. Do you hear how I just said kid? Yep. This kid, he's 11 years old. Shot combo on orders. From these two guys. These two scumbags. Easy to control, easy to fool. All they get is juvie if they ever get caught. Yep. Hearts and minds, right?
they do deserve to die, but I don't think it's smart for you to kill them. You're suggesting Walt do the deed? I got the entire thing figured out, so it's not for nothing. Everything, all I need from you is the voice. Ma'am, back when we were going to use it on Tuco, apples and oranges. That's, that's a good point, though. That's another good point. I really have to sit here and explain the difference to you. Come. Us, us. Oh. He was one of us. They Except both have nothing. good points. And how hard could it have been for you to track them down on their turf and kill them months ago? Because back then we were too busy getting high. Mm. Yeah, that and also. He has a connection now. The Andrea situation. And these guys are not like Tuco. They're more sophisticated and more dangerous, honestly. He's gonna just do it by himself? Well, if we're looking at it from a technical perspective, you did kill Crazy Eight. I'm just saying. But I do get what he's saying. He's not a murderer, per se. Could you get him arrested? You, you want your criminal associate taken into police custody? Is that the best you can come up with? I know it sounds risky, but it wouldn't be any. Oh, is that Mike? What does he want? Nothing good can ever come out of Mike paying you a visit. I spoke to Goodman about Pinkman and his plan of yours. Oh. I'm not going to do it. Why? Because it's moronic? Exactly. said you've done things like this before. And it's not the moronic things, okay? So, what's the problem? The problem is the boss wouldn't like it. Yep. He's not the boss. My boss. And your boss. Your boss. Yeah. Gus. You got a good thing going here. We all do. You want to risk it all on one junkie? Wow. And I realize you two have a history, but this kid's been on the bubble a while now. It's a long time coming. Wow. So he's suggesting let Jesse try and get killed in the process. Um. I'm not sure if Walt's going to be down with that. And I get called out on domestic disputes all the time. Hundreds probably over the years. But there was this one guy, this one piece of shit that I will never forget. Gordon, my partner, and I get called out there every week. And one of us would pull her aside and he'd say, come on, tonight's the night we press charges. And this wasn't one of those deep down he really loves me setups. We got a lot of those, but not this. This girl was scared. She wasn't going to cross him. No way, no. The dialogue in this is just so amazing. EMTs put him in a car, drive him downtown, fill him in a drunk tank. He sleeps it off. Next morning, out he goes. Driving into town, and his sideways asshole is in my back seat humming Danny Boy. <laughs> and it just rubbed me wrong. So instead of left, I go right out of the mm. And I kneel him down, and I put my revolver in his mouth. Wow. Told him. This is it. This is it. Yep. <laughs> How it ends. And Prince Charming kneel in the dirt for shit in his pants. <laughs> As you would. And Give a revolver in your mouth. Out of his mouth. And I say, so help me if you ever touch her again. Oh, mm. such and such and such and such. Yep. And blah, blah, blah. Just a warning. I bet Walt is going to use that strategy. Just trying to do the right thing. But two weeks later, he killed her. Ooh. Of course. 
Damn. Caved her head in at the base of a wearing blender. Damn. We got there, there was so much blood you could taste the memory. Wow. That story just took a dark turn. The moral of the story is I chose a half measure. Oh, that's the title. I should have gone all the way. Hmm. So is he suggesting well no more half measures. To go all the way, yeah. If he does, he'll be going full Heisenberg. He'll complete the Heisenberg progression. Or get very close to completing it. All you want. Oh. Gonna need you to come with me. Oh. Take a walk. Uh oh. Oh. They brought him over to have a conversation with Gus. Has Jesse ever met Gus? I don't think he has. So that'll be interesting. Hmm. Walt is there too. Makes it more interesting. Hmm. Oh, who are the others? Oh. That's a twist I wasn't expecting. Sit down. This could be interesting. The question is, does this mean that Walt is siding with Gus? Oh, they're his employers. It is true that he killed one of your associates. It is possible they acted rashly. But on the other hand, there's no indication. Now I know where I know this guy from. He was on The Walking Dead. He was one of the saviors. There is blame on both sides. He told him. Yes, he did. Hmm. There's no one outside. Or my trusted employees. If it wasn't for Walt, I know what you intended to do. You would be dead. If it wasn't for Lucy, I <laughs> yeah. would respect my brain. He's be. saying exactly what I said. Don't look at him, look at me. Hmm. Gus can be intimidating when he wants to be. That's for sure. He's not going to accept. No. Ooh. Pardon me. I didn't actually these, think he would these, say no. These assholes of yours, they got an 11 year old kid doing their killing for them. You're supposed to be some kind of a reasonable businessman. Is That's that not so business? reasonable. You okay with this? You got anything to say here? Nope. I guess he just listens to the boss. No more children. Ooh. Wow. Can you? He can be reasonable. Give it to me. Wow. He pretty much forced Gus to compromise, which is saying a lot. Yeah. I think peace is only going to be short-lived. Because I can definitely see them butting heads again. Oh, something happened? Slow down, I can't. I bet the two guys did something. Oh. Something happened to him as well. Did they kill the kid? Yeah. Damn. I wonder how this is gonna go with Jesse. I said it once, I'll say it again. The two guys deserve to die. I think it's just gonna be a domino effect if Jesse does it. But I think he's gonna do it. I mean, peace was never an option, like I said. Hmm. They're telling the story in the news. Boom. Now Walt is going to know why Jesse's busy. I have to go. He's definitely going to help.
And notice he's not hesitating like he did last time. He's ready. He's going through with it. This just got intense real quick. But it's two versus one, so it's not the smartest decision. Where is Walt when you need him? Ooh, they both got out. Walt's gonna show up, he has to. This is intense. He's not gonna make it, it's two versus one. And they have their pistols ready. That was Walt. I knew he would come to the rescue. That's crazy. What? What? Run. What the hell just happened? Alright, that was my reaction to season 3 episode 12, which was called Half Measures. This was actually a very, very intense episode. It was like a roller coaster ride. I think he was probably one of my favorite episodes so far, like from the entire series so far that I've seen. But damn, this was a crazy episode. I'm still in shock about what I just saw. I mean, I wasn't expecting that. That was crazy. But I'm super excited to see what comes next. Is Gus gonna go after Walt now? I don't know. I mean, they did go against Gus's orders by executing the kid, so... Does that mean Walt is in the right and Gus is going to back him up? I'm not sure, but this was a crazy, crazy episode. Like I said, this episode pretty much messed up all of my predictions in terms of what I thought was going to happen when it comes to the two guys. But I mean, I'm here for it because if I can't see it coming, then it's a good thing because it's unexpected and it's actually shocking. But holy crap, I can't tell you enough how crazy that ending was, but... Again, probably one of my favorite episodes so far. I'm actually going to start the next episode right away, but hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you did, make sure to share and smash the like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video.